All righty, guys, what's going on? Corbin with Corbin's Corn Horror Reviews back again for another episode. And today we have the Swag Bag Emerald. Um, they're cool. I mean, they're kind of like a, a Viking, maybe a slightly bigger template, a uh, different fill, of course, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, overall feel, all that, but uh, they play nice. But before we get into it, I do have two sponsors, uh, Black Sheep Baggers, uh, blacksheepbaggers.com, use code Corbin5 for 10% off, bags, boards, accessories, apparel, all the good stuff, customer service, top notch, check them out. Also, the Cornhole Cave, he's a brick and mortar in Wichita, Kansas, um, so go see the boards, go see some bags, grab a t-shirt, talk to Ryan, you know the jazz. Um, just go check him out. Uh, same or next day shipping on his website as well and uh, constant sales basically because he has pretty good prices. So uh, the cornholecave.com is down below. And then I do have a Patreon if you are so inclined to support that. That is down below as well. So the Emerald. Um, swag bags reached out to me because they saw one of my mail day posts. And they were like, you know what? We want to send you some bags. And I said, you know what? I'll take them. And uh, they sent me the Emerald and the Shazam. I have not thrown the Shazam yet. Uh, obviously, I'm a little more drawn to carpet, you know, it's kind of my style. And they said, you know what, we think this carpet's going to impress you. And I said, let's see if it does. And it does. I mean, I like it. It's it's good. It's it's one of those no surprises, you know exactly what you're getting kind of bags, which I'm not opposed to, honestly. So let's get into price. Uh, 80 bucks plus shipping on their website because I looked it up and I'm, I'm doing good today. I really am. And I literally just threw the boards out. Like I got home from work a little early, threw the boards out. And like, I have like an hour. Let's go. You know, so figured I'd really be on top of stuff today. Uh, so 80 bucks plus shipping. Uh, Break-in method on these. Toss off the carpet muncher with a little bit of wrinkle guard. Because that's what I like to do. I just like my carpets to be a little bit softer. I don't like that gritty feel. Uh, tumble them for a little bit. Throw them quite a bit. They're ready. You know, they're, they're playing really, really nice. Uh, speeds on these guys. It's essentially a Viking. So Four on the slow, seven on the fast. I'm not sure what swag bags is published, but that's definitely what I'm calling it. Four, seven, all day long. Uh, three Fs. We have fill, feel, and flop. The fill on a bag like this, it's never going to be amazing, right? It's it's like, I don't know. This one's actually not bad, though, the more I squeeze it and roll it around. It's not big and chunky. It's not. It's, it's definitely a blend of some sort, uh, but it does feel good in the hand. It's definitely a little thicker than some bags that you're used to, um, you know. I mean, Viking thickness, yeah, but I, I guess the new Vikings are not as thick, so not 100% sure on that, but still fairly thick, uh, definitely going to do some stuff that a thick carpet bag would do, which I'll get into, uh, but overall feel is good. I mean, corner seams and edges are nice. The closing stitch is really nice, um, double reinforced, pretty close to the top there. I like that. Uh, design's kind of cool, a little graffiti girl going on here, uh, diamond in the corner. I like that. ACL Pro 2023, and uh, overall flop. I mean, it's carpet. They're not going to get wild, but they are going to get somewhat floppy. Just the, the fullness of them is going to make it not crazy floppy, but it's actually kind of where I like it. I would like it to get a little floppier and with, you know, some more play, it would definitely happen. But I think they're really going to settle in kind of right where you want them to. And then playability. I mean, you guys know, right? <laughs> you could probably quote it. Blocks, pushes, cuts, rolls, flops, airmail, sneaker on the backside, on the fast side only. Uh... It's carpet. It's going to do what carpet does. That's just, that's what they do. The carpet is pretty friendly and you will see that. Um, I'm playing on my slower boards because it is probably the last nice day of the year that we have. And um, my Cornhole Solutions boards would probably be just a little too quick for the current conditions because I do have some wind coming. It's kind of coming all over the place uh, as I was driving home. <laughs> Missed the board. First bag every time. As I was driving home, I was like, man, it's a beautiful day. I have to record. You know, I was, I was actually going to take a nap. I'm not kidding. I was going to take a nap. I got called into work at 5 a.m. this morning uh, to fix some problems, and I'm tired. I was like, I'm going to take a nap. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take a nap. I'm going to record. I'm going to try to collect this on the slow side, by the way, which I missed. Um, I said, you know what? I'm just going to record. You know, it's a gorgeous day. We don't really have a whole lot of these left as we're creeping into fall here. And so I come out and the wind is just blowing like crazy. So it's kind of hit and miss. It's it's there. It's not there. It's deciding what it wants to do, essentially. And that's okay. I'll throw as much as I can when it's not there. Like, I'd love to blame wind on that. I can't. That was me. But the slow side plays good. I mean, it's it's sliding enough, but it's very controllable but I'm going dead left every time. Better. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Wanted that to fall. And that was, that was me. I mean, I, I did not throw that hard enough. If it's a little more broken in, 
maybe that goes because the corners might want to kind of fall in a little more. But, I mean, it's it's carpet. You can't throw that last bag block. I do it all the time. It drives me nuts, but you can't do it. So, fast side here. Just got to loft it a little bit. Nothing crazy. I can see the wind picking up. And, <laughs> okay. That's nice. This is nice. My bag's just flopping around, wobbly as heck in the air. I'm gonna try to air mail drag this. It's pretty poor effort. With the wind, I just, I don't know. I tried. Um, fast side, it's, again, no frills, nothing special. Nothing, you know, that you're not already aware of with Viking Fast, right? It's a seven speed that plays really nice in quicker conditions. Um, and it will become kind of glue in slower conditions. Um, and not necessarily slower conditions, but humid conditions. Okay. Um, it doesn't, ooh, I'll bounce a little. It doesn't really like, uh, humid conditions Four pack. And yes, I know this board is wobbling a little bit driveway. <laughs> it's not the board. It doesn't matter what board I put down here. I get a little wiggle out of it. So I need to get pitch pads. I need to, I need to pour pitch pads, like actual just concrete in my yard. But we were going to move this year, and then houses just did not work out for us. We have really, really bad luck with inspections. Um, so we are not moving this year. Get up with the wind. But, uh, so we are not moving this year, so we might move next year. But uh, I will have, yeah, I mean, that was wind-induced. I will have either pitch pads or an awesome driveway or something along those lines when I get the new house. But that's just got to fall into place, you know. If I'm here all next year, too, because interest rates and stuff, then so be it. Um, whatever. Back to the swags. I was trying to lay that block, so I'm going to try to flop here. Um, they're I'm not going to say they're too big. Yeah, I mean, it did it. I just didn't throw it right. They're just, they're kind of a bulkier bag. As far, oh, <laughs> I don't get out of my hand funny. They're a bulkier bag as far as uh, flopping is concerned. You know, get my grip, I actually, I have to squeeze a little too much on it. Um, but that could be, oof, shark fin. That could be uh, solved by just getting them really, really, really broken in. You know, tumbling in a ton, throwing in them a ton, uh, doing all that sort of stuff. You know, you could could essentially get them 100% where you want them. You know, if they, I think if they just got a little bit looser, they'd be fine. And that thing cut hard. That's that's my driveway and my throw, but I'm gonna try to flop over it anyway. Man, I'm like right there. I'm just gonna keep trying to flop until something happens. Lay a block, try to flop. Hey, I got one, but hit the bag in front, unfortunately. Um, but no, they'll, they'll absolutely do it. I thought that was gonna, bully off and shoot to the right they'll absolutely do it and i think as they get more broken in they're going to do it better you know as the materials get a little softer as the materials get a little more worn a little more stretched out they're going to do it but this is one of those bags that in your hand it just both sides feel good you know it feels soft it feels good i'm going to try to collect this it's a nice bag and uh for 80 bucks and that's that's kind of on the lower end of a pro stamp bag which I hate to say, <laughs> why can I not collect this? This darn fence, I should just knock it down. Yeah, that's gone too. I hate to say that it's, you know, 80 bucks is on the lower end, but I mean, you see black sheep coming in like 90-ish, uh, kill shots is like 100, um, you know, ultra is 85 on some days and then 125 on others. Uh, Cornhole scenario is 150. You know, it's just, there's, there's prices all over the place. So it, to be, you know, 80 bucks and no, it's not, it's not a fire bag. It's not a Reynolds. It's not those bags coming in at, you know, 60 bucks, but, um, really 80 is not bad to me at all. Try to follow it through. I missed. I just, I knew I missed I'm trying to beat that wind gust and here it comes. <laughs> I hope that's not messing with the audio too bad. But now these these are nice bags. I'm excited to throw the uh, Shazams too. Those are going to be cool. 
I definitely gravitate toward carpet more. You guys know this, but uh, the Shazam would be nice. I threw that so hard. It was on such a good line, too. If I threw it properly, that was in. Thought I had it. All right. If we can just airmail for the finish, hopefully I can drag. That would be even sweeter. Be a good way to end it. I tried. <laughs> Whatever. It's just not in the cars for me today. So that's all right. Uh, swag bag emeralds, guys. Oh, uh, they're nice. I mean, if you like a bag like. Uh, okay, so a Viking, a TNT magician, a sure shot kryptonite a oh there's more like this i mean almost a neptune but the carpet's totally different i mean it's it's one of those where the the combination is just right it plays nice it feels good i mean and that's it's flopping right over just as i'm holding it i mean they're they're a good bag 100 um i like the designs i like the price um i like their owner really nice dude so i think they're pretty cool uh definitely worth a look at with uh only being 80 bucks. So um, that's about it, guys. That's short and sweet on the Swag Bag Emerald. If you guys like this one, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.